Let's practice multiplying and dividing fractions. So multiplying fractions is pretty easy. You just take these two fractions and you multiply across. This is actually easier than adding fractions. Adding fractions, you have to worry about the, making the bottoms the same, having a common denominator. But multiplying fractions, you simply go 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And there's our answer. But don't forget to simplify. 2 divided by 6, you can divide top and bottom by 2 and have it. So half of 2 is 1, half of 6 is 3. So there's our final answer. Now dividing fractions is pretty similar. All you have to do is one extra step. We're going to change the division symbol to be that of a multiplication symbol. So we have this is equals to 3 fourth. The left, the left number here stays the same. Multiplied by the flip. So the rule says when you flip the right fraction, you can change the division to now be a multiplication symbol. So 2 thirds now becomes 3 over 2. And now we have the same question as number 1. You multiply across, 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 2 is 8. So this final answer here we can't simplify, so we're done. All right, so now let's try number 3. I recommend when you see a fraction like this, try simplifying first. What's 400 divided by 200? You can divide top and bottom by 10 or by 100, so these zeros essentially cancel out. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and we have 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And there's our final answer. Let's finish this question off with a division. And notice how we have a mixed fraction here. We really should convert it to a numerator over denominator improper fraction. So we have 8 divided by 6. Why don't we simplify that as well? You can divide top and bottom by 2. We have 4 over 3. Is it equivalent to 8 divided by 6? And I'm just going to leave this division symbol alone. I'm just going to focus my efforts on converting this to an improper fraction. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11 over 3. And now this kind of looks like question number 2 now. We're going to change the division to a times. Oh, what do we do? We flip it. And you simply multiply across. Now if we really wanted to, we can just multiply across. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 11 is 33. But this would not be a fully simplified answer. You can actually divide top and bottom by some number by 3. So when you divide the top by 3, we get 4. And when you divide the bottom by 3, you get 11. Now let's try a better way. When you're multiplying fractions, you can actually simplify diagonally or up or down. If you, you can ca actually cancel out the 3's here. You're dividing top by 3 and the bottom by 3. Dividing the top by 3, 3 divided by 3 becomes a 1. So anything, this becomes a 1 here. And this one also or dividing the bottom by 3 becomes a 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Anything times 1 is itself. So essentially, you can just cancel out the 3's. So by doing that, we can see that the answer is going to be 4 over 11. So there's no need to actually multiply it out. You can just cancel and say the answer is this over this, which is 4 over 11. And there's our final answer.